Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to a magical Minecraft title update 24 video because 40 shows again have been very secret. I know two secret features that they have introduced to Minecraft Xbox. I'm pretty sure all versions of Minecraft indeed. Um, so today, title update 24 came out and say hello to Alex. Alex was introduced. So there's two main things I'm going to be showing you. One is with a sheep. Keep thinking. One is with a sheep and one is to do with item frames and maps. So we're gonna start off with this one, and yes, I'm in the lovely tutorial world. That is Stampy's world right there. So, one thing I have tweeted towards voice shows over and over and over again, and if you guys follow me on Twitter, you will know I constantly ask them, and it's to do with maps. Now, basically, previously before you could uh, do this feature, when you put a map in an item frame, it stayed the same size. However, now, if I activate this map, you can see that this map is now active. This is my normal map. If I move around, it's obviously gonna take up some of the, uh, the locations, which means I'm starting to visit the map. Now, if you place this map in an item frame, for example, I place this here, it fills the whole map. It actually fills the whole map. So again, if I'm to take this off and put this on here, and then let's say we go exploring a little bit more, um, let's just continue to go all the way around here. Let's just see where it takes us, just so we can generate a little bit more of the map. Um, the more you generate, the more it will show up on the map. So for example, we visited a little bit more, uh, I can now put this on the item frame, and then if I put it in the item frame, it then will become uh, a bigger map again. So as you can see, the map is big, it's linked. So if I grab another map, um, although I haven't really explored this map greatly, it's not really gonna work too much, but if you've got an older world, specifically Xbox One and PlayStation 4, uh, if you visited all 36 worlds with different maps because you like to do that, and you put it in an item frame, it's gonna continue to make a huge, a huge, huge map. Now again, this is just a tutorial world, so you can't really get the full full look at this. Um, but I've done tutorials on this and talked about it in the past. Again, I can just go, and let's, let's quickly make a boat real quick. Let, let me just quickly show you something. So if I make a boat and go, say, uh, this direction, um, that way we can start to generate more of the map and you put it on your map. And it just means that you have a massive map. It means that you know where you have explored, where you can explore. For example, on your right side, say there's a spawner there, you know where your spawner is because you can look at your big map wall. Now you can make this wall as big as you want. Um, I think with 36 times bigger worlds, I'm not sure I'm not sure the actual highest amount that you need on these. Um, but let's just quickly do what I said. Let's just quickly make a boat. So let me quickly put this here. I'm going to craft myself a boat, which is this. Um, I'm going to generate this map. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down here. We're going to go and explore a little bit. And once I get a little bit further out there, what I'm going to do, then I'm going to load this map up. Um, and then we can do a little bit more exploration. It just means that the maps have now been introduced as a wall map instead of just item frame map. So if I do this, you guys can see we're generating in a different direction. Um, and normally a 36 times bigger world, I've got to be careful there. We're going to go back. We're going to go back because if I don't go, if I go too far, I'll crash into the end of the world. Um, so so this will now update on the map, put it on my map wall, and this feature will save. It will save for, for as long as you want. And this is a 1.7.2 feature. So, Forge Shows have introduced it. Now, I'm still waiting for the official change log from 4J to see what they did entirely introduce uh, because they said it was a small update, but they introduced more than the small update. So, as you can see, these have now updated. So, wh when you go explore as much as you want with a map, put on here, it will update on here as well. So, I think that's a great addition. Now, the next one is my favorite feature that Forge Shows have introduced. If you grab a name tag, put your name tag inside here and name it. Ready for this? Jeb. Yes, it, they added it, Jeb underscore. All right, you're gonna have a rainbow sheep. We're actually gonna have a rainbow sheep. So look, it's done, look, it's been added. They finally added this feature to Minecraft. Ah, oh, it's so wonderful. I'm, I'm so happy. So title update 24, guys, it's out. Go and explore these two features. I don't know if anything else has been added. I just know the maps in item frames now on the walls have been added, which is so useful. It saves you carrying millions of maps with you. And I know Jeb, my wonderful pet, pet sheep. And I said pig there. So guys, if you find any more features, be sure to let me know. I will do a full, Full update of all Title Update 24 features that we're introduced. Now we're onwards and upwards to Title Update 25. I've been Echo, I mean Alex. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!